Is it possible to be tax-free forever, living in a harder Europe and don't pay any taxes for all kinds of incomes? Is this a dream? Is it just a scam? Is it just a clickbait title for this YouTube video? Well, if you stick at the end, up to the end of this video, you will know the truth. My name is Andrea Papito and this is Esentaxa. We talk about how to optimize taxes if you want to relocate to a specific country. We help people, especially in Europe, to understand which is the best jurisdiction to exploit to pay less tax possible. We take into account your situation tax-wise in advance, we simulate what is the situation if you are resident in a specific country, and thanks to this analysis, this tax planning and these numbers, you understand more clearly if a specific jurisdiction makes sense for you tax-wise or not. Now, in this specific video, I want to talk about trusts. Uh, trust is not an easy topic. It's a very complicated structure um, and it's not even easy to write it down because the trust basically is a, it's a contract. It's an entity that comes from a contract. Every jurisdiction might have a different rules and most jurisdictions in Europe, they don't even know. They don't even have in their civil law the trust. They, they don't have it. So they have to inherit all the rules from other jurisdictions. And also, it's a very complicated because based on the way you write the trust, you might have some tax exemptions or you might not have some tax exemptions. Okay? The trust is basically used to uh, protect your wealth and also to transfer your wealth towards your family members trying to avoid the evident tax. This is the most classical usage of the trust. In certain countries, this is the only way to use it. But for, certain, for, other, uh, let's say, for other jurisdictions, it's more useful to squeeze down your taxable income. And in most of the cases, pay zero taxes. Okay? Uh, this is not possible always in Europe. You have to basically found a specific combination to have a trust in a specific jurisdiction and your tax resident in another jurisdiction that doesn't tax the trust abroad. You see, it's, it's not easy to find a combination, but there, is, there are combinations that you can exploit. And now I'm going to explain you why Italy is maybe the only country in Europe that allows you to receive incomes from trust tax-free. I'm talking about any kind of incomes, okay? How it works. Now, the trust is composed by three main persons. One is the founder, one is the trustee, one is the beneficiary, okay? The trustee works in behalf of the beneficiary. Basically, his job is to take care about all the wealth, all the companies, all the real estate at the name of the trust, manage all the wealth and make it work, creating revenue for the future beneficiary or for the beneficiary in general. The founder is the person that basically is the one that gives the input to, to, to the creation of the trust and sometimes you might have also that the beneficiary and the founder most likely is the same person. Now, in certain jurisdictions in Europe, even if you build a trust at the top of your companies, at the top of your real estate, try to avoid taxes, it's not really useful because most of the jurisdictions, they avoid, I mean, they understood the game and they basically, what they do, they tax you by transparency. In most of the cases, you are the beneficiary of the trust and you want to receive income through the trust. So you basically expropriate yourself from your wealth. You give all the trust indeed to someone which is called a trustee. This person will work in behalf of you, so you have to really have a huge trust to him. That is a very important point. And this person basically decides how and when give money to the beneficiary, which is you. Unfortunately, a lot of jurisdictions in Europe, what they do, they tax by transparency. So they basically going to tax the beneficiary either whenever he receives the income or if the beneficiary is not let's say, specifying the trust. That's the reason why you have to be very careful on the way of writing the trust, because if you don't specify the beneficiary, then the trust is taxable for those jurisdictions. For example, Belgium is one of those jurisdictions. They tax either the trust or the beneficiary through a mechanism, which is called a pass-through taxation, and under the name of, under the infamous name, called Cayman tax. So it's a very, very bad name. They put it in Belgium. But anyway, Belgium is one of the examples. So regardless if you have a trust, wherever this trust is located, it can be in, uh, in Belgium, it can be inside Belgium, but as long as the beneficiary or the founder of the trust is tax resident in Belgium, they will get taxed regardless. And they get exactly the same type of taxation of their type of income. So if the trust receives income from uh, dividends, for example, they get the same taxation from dividends. So the trust basically becomes transparent. 
But let's move to Italy. Uh, Italy also regulated the trust from the taxation point of view, even though the trust is not specified in the civil law. Okay? The Italian tax agency, anyway, well regulated the trust, and in Italy it works like this. If the trust doesn't specify any beneficiary, so it's uh, called OPAC trust or a discretionary trust, um, any kind of income that flows in this trust will be taxed at 24%, which is basically at the corporate tax. They basically use the corporate tax system and apply it to the trust. This is how it works in Italy. So if you register a trust in Italy, it will become taxable at 24% tax rate. Instead, if the beneficiary is specified on the trust, so we know who to pay and when to pay, uh, then is the beneficiary which is taxable, and it will be taxable at the ordinary Italian tax bracket rates from 23% up to 43%. So, in most of the cases, having a trust in Italy is not a really good uh, choice because you basically you don't really skip a lot in taxation. Huh? You can make some optimization, it's true, but nothing changed. What is changed instead is the following. If you have the trust in another jurisdiction, so you don't register the trust in Italy, but you keep the trust abroad, Italy considers your trust abroad taxed at the trust level if it's the beneficiary and not specified. But if the foreign country doesn't tax the trust because this is the way it's written in their tax system, it's fine. The trust receives money, so you basically you might have an activity in Italy, and you transfer this, this um, amount of uh, dividends or profit towards the trust abroad, maybe that jurisdiction doesn't tax the trust. Okay, but also Italy cannot tax the trust if you have put a trustee which is tax resident in the jurisdiction abroad. And here is the key point. So the, uh, the income can flow towards the trust tax free, putting it in the middle and we don't have a holding company because in Europe you can exploit the tax system. And if you subscribe the channel in tax, we are going to explain exactly what it means tax tax, tax, tax regime putting the layer, putting between companies, holding companies. So exploiting this system, you can flow, put your money from the Italian company towards the trust abroad, tax-free. But since the beneficiary from the Italian tax point of view is not specifying the trust, you're not even taxed on the beneficiary level, even though the beneficiary is tax resident in Italy. You understood my point? So. Uh, there are multiple jurisdictions in Europe that can allow you to do this trick, keeping your tax residency in Italy, which means that you can receive income from abroad through a trust as a beneficiary, not specified beneficiary, not discretionary be beneficiary means that doesn't mean that you won't receive your income. It's simply that the trustee at his own convenience, his own decisions might send you money to the beneficiary. Okay, so this is how it works. But thanks to this trick, the beneficiary is not subject to any taxation. And you can keep your tax residency in Italy without any problem. So Italy, it's true that taxes the trust, but when it comes to foreign one in European, established in European Union, you can use this trick and receive income from abroad, always tax-free. Now, it's true that on paper it looks amazing, it sounds amazing, but we have to be really, really careful because the way you write a trust uh, it might change a lot in terms of uh, protection, liability. Keep in mind, as I said before, you expose a lot yourself uh, to the hand of a trustee. Eh? So this is something that has to be really uh, taken into account. Uh, it's true that you don't own anything else for the Italian tax authorities. That's the reason why you will not get tax at all. Uh, if you want to know more about this topic, uh, we, we must have a consultation here, one hour consultation in order to understand your situation, see if the trust idea could make sense for you. Of course, creating a company, an holding company and another trust layer at the top of it might be expensive for you. So it's not, it exactly is not a, a situation that it's suitable for everyone. For other people, we have plenty of other tax regimes in Italy or in other country uh, in which we are talking a lot in this, in this, in this channel. I hope I was clear. If you want to know more about this topic, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell, like button, and in the description below the video, you have our email contact info at presentaxa.com if you want to write us or our consult con a calendar link, which you can basically book a consultation on our call to our call and tax simulation that helps you to understand if the relocation to, to a specific country makes sense or not. Thank you. See you in the next content. Bye.